Hey Cancer! Welcome to Black Star Tarot, guys. Uh, like and subscribe. Cancer, we are going to do a bonus love reading for the month of September. So we're going to um, start with checking in on your person's uh, feelings towards you, okay? So let's see. Uh, Spirit, how does Cancer's person feel about them? How do they feel about them? All right. That should be good. All right, Spirit, how does Cancer's person feel about them? How do they feel about Cancer? Oh, hell. So you got more than one. So you got the three of wands, you have the three of cups, and the emperor fell out. So as far as how they feel about you, I think they're more focused on how you feel about them. Let's just be honest, okay? So for some of you, I feel like you've refocused your time and your energy here. So when this person um, thinks of you, when they go into um thought of you the first thing that comes to mind is is um is this going to work is this going to be successful okay because the three of wands is all about expansion success um happy choices uh maybe some of some of you they may be thinking about maybe moving closer uh to you in some way shape or form so that things can work out with this three of cups like they want this uh commitment or this uh whatever y'all have going on they want it to be happy they want it to be victorious right yeah um and then with the emperor uh this dude you know is you know kind of you know he's all about success as well so i think as far as what your person is ultimately thinking because all three of these cards you know reek of success and happiness and some type of um goodness or well-being you know in their lives but the emperor is is all about uh structure okay this person is looking at you knowing okay uh that this commitment with you can offer them you know a happy place or a happy space okay some of you could be dealing with an aries uh, or a Capricorn as well. But let's just see what else is going on here. How do you feel about this person? Because I, I don't know. You guys, I, I just keep hearing refocus, 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 refocus. I don't know what the hell that means. But I, mean, I know what refocus means, but I don't know why I keep feeling it. Uh, I feel like you've had to readjust some, some things. So let's see uh, how you feel about them. Because right now, I just know that, you know, although I didn't see not one love card come out here. I mean, the Three of Cups is a happy card, but um, I feel like their main focus right now when it comes to you is, you know, making plans to head back your way. All right. That's kind of how I'm feeling here. Okay. Like they spent some considerable amount of time with this emperor here trying to figure out probably how to win you back. Okay. So I think their thoughts are overpowering their heart right now when it comes to you. But let's see what you think, you know, how are you feeling about this person? Yeah. You feel like this person is, is, is just all, all balance. Okay. Um, the three of pentacles, I'm sorry. I don't know where I got that three from. Uh, the six of pentacles is giving and receiving. Uh, it's kindness. It's being taken care of. I'm glad it came out. Assistance, you know, it can mean sharing and things like that. And I feel that, you know, this, this is how you feel about this person. You don't mind giving to them. You don't even mind taking care of them, you know, to uh, some extent um cancer but i don't feel that it's been reciprocal all right i don't feel that the kindness and the love that you've been giving them was coming back i don't feel that as you've been taking care of them and their needs that they've been taking care of you and your needs as you've been sharing they've been being stingy right so what is the challenge here uh for cancer uh when it comes to this relationship justice you want to give them a peace <laughs> You want to give them, you you want to give back to them the same dish of medicine that they gave to you, okay? With with justice here, you want this, you know, you want it to be fair, you know. Cancer, you know, I get it. You don't feel as though you're going to be pouring out your heart, you know, and your resources, you know, to them so that um you you get nothing, you know, nothing in return. You know, you're dealing with a selfish person, okay? But right now, I feel that they're dealing with the consequences of being selfish. I feel like you've made something fair. So 
Uh, some of you could be dealing with a Libra, all right? But whatever this is that is coming in, whatever this challenge is between you and them has something to do, you know, with, you know, make, you know, them being responsible or them being accountable. You want them to be accountable. You want them to come clean, okay? This is a cause and effect, you know, type of uh, energy. You want them to be truthful, okay? You want balance in this. You got justice and the six of pentacles side by side. You know, the, the, the issue between you and this person is shit just ain't fair. <laughs> Bottom line, like it's just, you know, things, you know, shit's not reciprocal. You know, you're not getting in, you know, you're not getting out, you know, what you're putting in with this person. Excuse me one second, uh, Cancer. Um, All right. Thank you guys. Um, so yes, that's, that's what I'm seeing here. Okay. This person, um, doesn't really know how to love. I'm going to say that they don't know how to love and it could be, you know, a little selfish. All right. And a little unhappy maybe with themselves and possibly, you know, a little confused. So that's kind of like the energy, you know, I'm getting, uh, with this dork. Okay. So let's see, uh, what else we have going on here for you. All right, you just want stuff to be right. And that's to be expected. And that's why I feel like I said, you guys, you know, have literally like, you know, refocus, you know, your energy. You're just like, yeah, oops, yeah, no, you know, sorry, y'all. My bad, they flew everywhere. I was being a little aggressive with the cards. All right, so let's get them back. All right, let me, let's try to make it pretty again or somewhat pretty. Can you guys see this? I hope so. Okay. All right, moving on. So, Cancer, uh, what we got? Messages for Cancer. Why is the Three of Wands here? Let's see if we can clarify this Three of Wands. <laughs> okay, okay. So, we got signs that came out on top of the Three of the Three of Wands. So, again, you know, this person is really trying to figure this out. All right. I think they're aware that their happiness you know, um, lies with you. I think they're following their instincts when it comes to, you know, uh, uh, as far as like maybe how they've been dealing with you. I feel that their choices, you know, have been like a little, a little suspect and things like that, but all signs are telling them, you know, to return to you. That's how I'm feeling. And I say that because of the card that says signs on, with the three of wands and this came out with it as well. Like, yeah, they're missing you. That's what they doing, right? You know, they're, they're, they're missing you. They in that six of cup energy. They're trying to come back to you. Okay. They miss their old friend cancer. <laughs> They miss you. So, you know, they're trying to bring that old thing back, you know, or at least if they if they know you're not going to let them in the bed, they're at least trying to be your friend, okay, with that nostalgia card. And that's just how I see that. Three of Cups for Cancer. Three of Cups. Damn, why you keep getting two cards? No, no, no. You need to have to work on this. All right, so you got uh, the bound card. So three of cups, again, you know, this person misses those those days, right? They are still thinking about the times that they spent with you, how good you treated them, how you took care of them, and things like that. You know, however, for some of you here, um, there is definitely like some third party uh, energy going on. So some of these people, some of, somebody here is regretting, you know, um, the way that they, they treated you. You know, the three of cups has like a, a whole group, you know, type of activity energy going on with it, you know, just, you know, other people and things like that. So this person that you could have been dealing with, you know, definitely could, you know, been a cheater, um, you know, just, you know, maybe possessive, you know, to some extent, you know, just mildly toxic. Cause you also got the stuck card that came out as well, uh, in that round of shuffling. So, you know, this person's like, honestly, you know, kind of just stuck in a place right now where they just like, I fucked up, I fucked up, you know, I fucked up and now I'm stuck, you know, in this situation because cancer, I don't think that you're entertaining it. I'm going to stick to the feeling that I had when I first started this reading that you guys, you know, have changed your focus 
uh, when it comes to this person for good reason, for good reason. So material world and we got shadow work. So this person's fucked up. I'm just saying, you know, they're focused on money. They're not focused on love. They're focused about what they can get out of you. Not necessarily what they can do for you, Cancer. They got a lot of shadow work to do, okay? And meanwhile, this person's probably going to be trying to work out some type of compromise, you know, asking some of you, you know, to move back in, you know, to give them another chance, you know, all that old good stuff, you know, in hopes that you'll say yes. Okay, but I don't think you will. So, you know, that's how I'm feeling here. You know, the emperor, you know, got they shit together. So for a lot of you, Cancer, you got your shit together, right? You got your material, you know, in order. You got your own house. You got your own car. You actually have a job. You have a business. You know, you've done your shadow work. And this person has not, okay? And their focus isn't on love. It's on money. Stability for some of them. Okay, what else for a cancer? So we got the six of pentacles clarified by this union card. Like exactly like this, this relationship has not been fair. You know, it has not been balanced. And the only reason why this person wants this union, you know, this return uh, to you right now is because they know you're going to pour into them, right? That you're going to shower them, that you're going to take care of them, that you're going to assist them in their endeavors, and that you're going to share your life wholeheartedly with them. That's why this person needs to kick freaking rocks. I wish I knew them, okay? So we got justice clarified by cycles. What else do we have to say about this cancer? I think you and I are both in agreement that this person's return is just going to put you in, you know, that, that cycle. Like I said, refocus, okay? Because cycles, you know, ah, uh, you know. You know, when I look at cycles, particularly with that moon there, I feel like, you know, you are you have a lot of thoughts about this person and so do they. But at the end of the day, I feel like this person brings you nothing but anxiety because they're deceptive, Okay. You know, and you need to caution yourself with that moon there. You know, the moon screams, look out. So, you know, this person is just, you know, they avoid their feelings, okay? They probably barely have any, you know, okay? They're probably very detached from that. And I feel like, you know, letting this person in, you know, is not a good idea. You got release on the bottom of the deck. I do feel that this is definitely maybe something that you might want to consider, and some of you have considered it already. And probably watching this is just clarification that you know that this person doesn't want anything from you. But your time, your energy, and they're going to suck you dry, you know, energetically and financially. This person's a nuisance. Or maybe I'm not being too harsh, Cancer. Let me stop. All right. What else? You know, tribe. Okay, so some of you, your family could be telling you, like, don't do it. You're going to regret it. Your friends are telling you, don't do it. You know, you're going to regret it. Like you, you know, there's, you know, like stay devoted to you. Okay. You got mute on the bottom of the deck. Like, you know, back off from this. Okay. Focus on your family. Focus on your friends. You know, I wouldn't repeat another cycle with this, with this person. This card will not come out in another reading. I refuse. It flipped over, but it didn't flip out. It said summer. So for some of you, you could have maybe didn't hear from this person for a while. Maybe they resurfaced this summer. Maybe by the end of the summer, you're going to probably see this person, you know, sending you messages and whatnot. I don't know. But summer did try to pop over. It's come out in every single reading. I should, I'm, I'm, I'm shuffling the hell out of these cards. You can hear it. And it wanted to pop out just now. And I kindly put that shit back in the deck. Okay, so. We got lessons, okay? So, you know, you got spring here. I wouldn't do it, okay? I do feel like there's a lesson to be learned here, all right? I do feel that you should go, you know, in a new direction and you should refocus, you know, your attention right now. This person doesn't deserve it, okay? So let's move on. Messages for Cancer so we can go. Messages for Cancer. So we got mastery. That's that emperor right there. Mastery. The emperor card represents that. You've learned the spiritual lesson. So damn, look, lesson, lesson. Like, you know, you've learned the spiritual lesson. Exactly. Why go through it again? 
only if you didn't learn the lesson, right? That's the only reason why this person is trying to return. This is the only reason why the universe is sending them back to you to see if you learned a lesson. And the emperor who you had come out earlier, he's hiding underneath there, you know, it's all about self-mastery, learning the goddamn lesson, okay? Learn the lesson. All right, what else for cancer? What else for cancer? And it didn't come out, so what else for cancer? A couple more messages for cancer. Spirit, don't be shy. Soulmate. All right, so this is why this has been so rough on you, right? This is why, you know, your soulmate lover accepts and respects you. Does this person love, accept, and respect you? If they don't, learn the lesson. All right, what else? for cancer okay master your feelings master your emotions okay protect it you are protected okay and vulnerability on the bottom of the deck you're not you may you have a good heart so that's what makes you vulnerable not just to this person but to anybody who comes you know uh tugging on your heartstrings cancer okay you're good people okay i got a couple cancer friends and i simply adore them and so you know i realized that you know although you can be nasty right <laughs> You know, but at the, you know, but predominantly, you know, you have a good heart, and this person is 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 on it. Okay, they're seeking out, you know, your vulnerability. <laughs> That's what they're doing. All right, so Cancer, thank you for watching. Um, like and subscribe if you like the video, and uh, if I have to threaten you to like and subscribe, I shall. But I'll I'll pass on that this time. But see you guys um, in the next video. Thanks for watching.